Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. It's your boy, the Afro Lad, back at it again. So, we're going to go deeper into Cloud's past this time. We're going to see what was going on in that reactor. So, let's go. Let's go on. I get it. Tifa, were you waiting outside then? Yes. We returned to Nibelheim. Sephiroth confined himself to the inn. He didn't even try to talk to me. Then all of a sudden he just disappeared, right? We found him inside the biggest building in Nibelheim. The villagers used to call it the Shinra Mansion. Long ago, people from Shinra used to live in that mansion. Jesus, did it need to be that loud coming in? It's over here. That's. I'm gonna look something up, see if I'm missing something here. So apparently that piano actually doesn't have any kind of interactions right now. Like, you could use this for stuff later. Just nothing important right now, so we're gonna move on. There's no sign of Sephiroth, but I know I saw him go into this room. Did he? Oh, hey. All right, before we go exploring down there, I wish to check out the other rooms. See what else I could find. Okay, so did a bit more digging on if there's anything else that could be done here. Turns out you can't, not right now anyway. So you can come back here later, not in so much as Cloud's memories, but the physical location you get to go to. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and move on. Oh, hey, it's Sephiroth. <clears throat> An apparently dead organism was found in a 2,000-year-old geological stratum. Stratum. Jesus. Interesting word. Professor Gast named that organism Genova. X year, X month, X day. Genova is confirmed to be an ancient. X year, X month, X day. Genova project approved. The use of Mako Reactor 1 approved for use. My mother's name is Genova. Genova Project. Is this just a coincidence? Professor Gast, why didn't you tell me anything? Why did you die? Um, yeah, Sephiroth, buddy, friend, pal. Care to wake up now? Okay, I actually had to walk up to him. Let me be alone. Okay, I guess so. Just gonna... Can I walk past you? Yes, yes I can. What's going on over here? A whole bunch of books, papers, nothing. 
Alrighty. I uh, guess there's not much else to do in here. Just gonna leave him alone. Sephiroth didn't come out of Shinra Mansion. He continued to read as if he were possessed by something and not once did the light in the basements go out. That ominous music. Um, hey, Sephi buddy pal, what are you doing? Sephiroth seems different. <laughs> you think? Hey, Sephi buddy friend pal, chum, guy, amigo, compadre, comrade, uh, amici. Okay. He's just laughing in the distance. Who is it? Hmm. Traitor. Traitor? You ignorant traitor. I'll tell you. This planet originally belonged to the Cetra. The Cetra was an itinerant race. They would migrate in, settle the planet, and then move on. At the end of their hard, long journey, it was said that they would find the promised land and supreme happiness. But those who disliked journeying appeared. They stopped their migrations, built shelters, and elected to lead an easier life. They took that which the Cetra and the planet had made them without giving back one wit in return. Those are your ancestors. Sephiroth. Long ago, disaster struck the planet. Your ancestors escaped. They survived because they hid. The planet was saved by sacrificing the Cetra. After that, your ancestors continued to multiply. Now all that's left of the Cetra is in these reports. What does that have to do with you? Don't you see? An ancient named Genova was found in a 2,000 year old geological stratum. The Genova Project. The Genova Project wanted to produce people with the powers of the ancients, or the Cetra. I am what was produced. P produced? Yes. Professor Gast, the leader of the Genova Project and genius scientist, produced me. How? How did he? S Sephiroth? Out of my way. I'm going to see my mother. Um, buddy. Sephiroth. I, I need you to calm down. You might have a mommy syndrome, but, uh, yeah, we, we don't talk about that in public, my guy. Mm, did he go in here, or is he, like, outside? I think he's outside. Oh! What in the sweet Jesus? Hey, it's you. You're still sane, right? Then come over here and help me. Zangan. Holy Jesus, the whole town is on fire. I'll check this house. You check that one over there. 
Alright, I think this is... Wasn't this Cloud's house? Yikes. That guy's dead. I'm guessing everyone in the house is dead. Terrible. Sephiroth, this is too terrible. So we're back here. That's Tifa. Papa? Sephiroth. Did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth, soldier, Mako reactors, Shinra. I hate them all. Oh, oh, okay, so you hate me too then, huh? Tifa, what do you think you're gonna do? You are up against a super weapon and a half. Mother, I'm here to see you. Please. Open this door. How could you do that to Papa and all the townspeople? Tifa, what in the world do you think you're gonna do? Oh! She got bodied. Tifa, are you okay? You promised. You promised that you'd come when I was in trouble. Yep, and I'm here. Just gonna move you out the way for a minute. Promise, okay. Yep, maybe yep. You stay there. of a great idea. Let's go to the promised land. Sephiroth. My family, my hometown. How could you do this to them? <laughs> They've come again, mother. With her superior power, knowledge, and magic, mother was destined to become the ruler of this planet. But they, those worthless creatures, are stealing the planet from Mother. But now I'm here with you, so don't worry. What about my sadness, my family, friends? The sadness of having my hometown taken away from me. It's the same as your sadness. <laughs> my sadness. What do I have to be sad about? 
I am the Chosen One. I have been chosen to be the leader of this planet. I have orders to take the planet back from you stupid people for the Cetra. What should I be sad about? Sephiroth, I trusted you. No, you're not the Sephiroth I used to know. And that's the end of my story. That was the most intense anime stare down I've ever seen. Wait a damn minute. That's it? No more? I don't remember. What happened to Sephiroth? In terms of skill, I couldn't have killed him. The official records state that Sephiroth is dead. I read it in the newspaper. Shinra Inc. owns the newspaper, so you can't rely on that. I want to know the truth. I want to know what happened. I challenged Sephiroth and lived. Why didn't he kill me? I'm alive too. A lot of this doesn't make sense. What about Genova? It was in the, Shin in the Shinra building, right? Shinra shipped it from Nibelheim to Midgar. Did someone carry it out later? It was missing from the Shinra building. Sephiroth? Damn! None of this makes sense. I'm going, 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 gone. And I'm leaving the thinking to you. Yo, Cloud, let's get a move on. Let's wait a second. Cloud, what's wrong? You just gonna stand here while Sephiroth heads to the Promised Land? I ain't letting Sephiroth or Shinra get no Promised Land. If they do, we're all screwed. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Just leave it to me. Alright, I guess we're going. Oh, brother. Cloud? How bad was I after Sephiroth stabbed me? I thought you were a goner. I was so sad. I... The Ancients, Cetra, Genova, Sephiroth, and myself. Let's go. Barrett's waiting. Alright, Red, you coming? What a fascinating story. Yo, Cloud, here. PHS. Access the PHS and select it. Okay. Alright then, we're out of here. Oh, that's how I change my party when I'm out in the world map. That's pretty neat. Hmm. I think I'll do some more exploring of the town later. For now, I want to head to the world map. Where are we going to go? Alright, so according to the guide, I'm supposed to be heading east. Oh, crap, basket. And we are gone once again. Is this it? Yes! The Chocobo Ranch. We have arrived. Apparently the place of many years of frustration for many Final Fantasy VII players. Thinking of crossing the marshes? Yeah. Hmm. It'll probably be safer for you to get a Chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes with the Chocobo. Same way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zolom. Ooh, Midgar Zolom. It's a serpent-like creature that's over 30 feet tall. It detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then, bam, it attacks. To avoid that, buy a Chocobo at me and Choco Billy's Chocobo farm. To purchase a Chocobo, put my guns and he's in the stables. Okay, so we gotta go to the stables. Oh, I thought I had to walk around like that. I'm big dummy. 
No. Thank you, Cloud. Here we go. Choco Billy. Are you Choco Billy? You want a Chocobo? Yep. Here you want. You old folks are out of luck. Old folks. We're all out of Chocobos. I'm taking care of the ones out for here for someone else. You know, if you really want a Chocobo, you can go out and catch one. Wanna know how to catch a Chocobo? Oh, well, let's start. Where are they? See those claw prints out there? Wild Chocobos appear in those areas. But if you don't have a Chocobo lure, they won't come out. They're very cautious by nature. Chocobo lure? What type of material that attracts Chocobos if you equip it, they'll come to you, but without it, they won't appear. I don't know how to catch... Yeah, how do I catch one? Watch a couple always appears with other monsters, but you won't be able to catch it because of the monsters. That's why you must defeat the monsters first before you catch a Chocobo. And then? Wild Chocobos are really cautious. They'll run away from the smallest of things. If you use greens, they'll focus on them and they won't run away. Alright, uh, what else? Whatever you do, don't make the Chocobos angry. They usually come, but if you get them angry, you'll get hurt. Oh, and remember, once you get off a of Chocobo, it'll escape. Alright, uh... Where do I get the material? Well then, shall we get down to business? I'll say the Chocobo lure. 2000? Wow, kid, you drive a hard bargain. Zero funds. Why the Curiel Greens? I meant to sell, not. Not to you, kid. I should sell you stuff. If there's stuff I could sell, then maybe I can get more greens. Oh, I don't have a lot of money. Huh. Kid. Isn't it really expensive? Yeah, no duh. Don't be mad at my brother or grandpa. Ever since mom and dad died, it's been like this. I don't care. That's not fair. Why would you do this to me? Alright, so I need to equip material. Let's start with that. Chocobo! Oh lord. Oh, did I did not just hit that. I did not just accidentally do that. Okay, good. There's one. Don't hit the Chocobo, please. Alright, there we go. Okay, so note to self. Use the greens first. Alright, there we go. Ba 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 Can I get a fresh ch ch uh, Chocobo, please? So note to self, first turn, use a green. All right, here we go. Do not hit the Chocobo. Oh no. Uh, nope, we're doing it again. We're leaving. Alright, so first person that goes should automatically use this stupid thing. Oh, hey, there's a full camera turn? Alright. Trying it again. Kobo. 
Red 13, Curiel Green. Aerith. Actamandragora. One down. No, no, no. Yes, caught a Chocobo. Awesome. Boy, I was dangerously close. Not a right, Chocobo. Chocobos escape whenever a player dismounts. keep you? Or do I just need to use you to cross the marshes right now? Are these the marshes? I would assume so. Oh, hey! I see the snake thing! Hello, Midgar Zolem! <laughs> yeah, bye. Hi. <laughs> I'll probably come back and fight him. Okay, so according to this, the Midgar Zolem actually spawns endlessly, so you don't actually have to fight him this time around. You can fight him later. And he actually gives you an enemy skill. So that's interesting. Alright, well, let's go ahead and pop in. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Did Sephiroth do this? It's another Midgar Zolem, huh? That's a bit overkill, Sephiroth. You just needed to outrun the dang thing. Close. Wait a second. It's the same side I was on. Hi. Bye, Snake Man. Oh, doing this without seeing the map is really difficult. Don't come chase me, don't come chase me, and I'm okay. So is this the way I was supposed to be going? Oh, I can't go back in there. Supposed to go now, then. Oh, I have to dismount to go in. Mm, okay. Interesting. Alright, so I think I'm gonna leave this place off for the next episode. This is apparently called the Mithra Mines. We're gonna save this for the next episode, guys. I know it might be a little short of an episode today, but I want to try to get as many episodes recorded as I can today. Okay, thank you, game. How come I can't pause? What? There it is. There we go. That's the button I was looking for. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and do this in the next episode. We'll take on the Mithril Mines. We got past the Zolum, thankfully. And we'll go ahead and go through that. I'm going to learn on some of the stuff that's going on in this game so I can see if I can get some of the better stuff early on as well. But that way, I don't have to worry about getting absolutely destroyed by things like the Midgar's Olam. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. We did, you know, some interesting story stuff that we found out now. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. Like the episode if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and join the Curly Crew. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.